Hey guys, here's a little update on the uh, Helicrafters project. I've been working starting from the bottom and working my way up. I clipped out a whole bunch of those old wax capacitors here. And I've already gutted these by heating them up with a heat gun and pulling out the insides. I then put the new caps inside and sealed the ends with uh, some wax. Uh, then, uh, with all those capacitors out, it was much easier to get the resistors. And I started testing those and uh, I actually didn't find too many that were out of tolerance. Uh, but those I did find, I did replace. Like there's one down in here and you can see these new resistors I picked up. Those carbon composition look quite a bit like the old ones did. Here's another uh, new one I put in place. Um, oh and here's one of the new uh, rebuilt electrolytics I wired back in. Uh, now with these parts cleared out of the way, I decided to tackle that uh, onerous task of working on the high voltage box. Um, that's tough because it sits inside this metal box normally, which would be mounted on the back here. And there's a circuit board inside, and there are wires that route through the bottom, coming through here and over here and one up in here now to get that out what you need to do is unsolder the wires which uh, are these here i put little stickies on them and mark them so uh, i know how to connect them back up and i route them back through and that's the real tough part is i'm going to have to put this back and run those wires through those holes down there now luckily, um, I read Phil Nelson's excellent restoration site, and he had a great tip to fish these through, uh, to solder some long wires on the end, and feed those through, kind of like when you have to snake some new wiring through an existing plaster wall. And uh, then I'll be able to pull these through, solder, or clip off the, the temporary wire, and then solder it back on. Now, the reason you need to take this out is because there are three big old capacitors down here that uh, are quite often bad. Now because this is going to be so inaccessible, I'm not going to bother rebuilding these. Um, you can see how much smaller the new modern capacitors actually are. So this is the one that replaces that guy. So just these three wax caps to replace. I'll check this one resistor. And I think that's all. Oh, there's one more resistor over here. Uh, that's about it. So all that work just to replace uh, three or four components. <laughs> uh, and I'll check these tubes while I got it out too. Hopefully they're okay. I'll pop it back in and continue on. I don't think it'll be too much longer now. Uh, I basically have these capacitors and uh, I'll fire it up. It'll probably take me about two more days, so stay tuned.